Hello friends, Adam here with FED. Due to popular demand, and maybe it's not very demanded, maybe it's just a few people who want it, but we're, today we're starting the Fire Emblem Three Houses Verdant Wind Community Tier List. So this tier list today is going to be all of my thoughts, this is my personal opinion, and you are free to disagree. And that's kind of the point of this, is you are now, after watching this video and after seeing the tier list, please go down into the comments, share your thoughts what you think should change who should move and why make sure to include why that makes it that makes it much more likely to for the change to happen and we will make the most popular changes uh next week on tearless tuesday so let's get started we'll start from the bottom we'll start from good and travel all the way to near perfect and notice none of these are bad <laughs> none of these tiers are bad and that's because literally every character in three houses it's at least okay, guys. <laughs> so everyone's good. Therefore, the lowest is good, and the top is near perfect. I almost want I almost called it perfect, but no one's perfect, right? All right. So let's start in good tier. I think the base worst, like, goodest unit in the game <laughs> is Anna. I don't think she brings anything that special to the table. When recruited, her bases are horrendous, and yeah, she's just. <sighs> To me, I, I see her as, as Bernadetta except bad, if that makes sense. Uh, without the tools that make without the tools that make like Bernadetta really good. So yeah, good tier. Ash is next in good tier. Where are you at, my little friend? There you are. Ash in good tier. I think Ash uh, is one of the most underwhelming units in the game. Uh, one of the most underwhelming students, I should say. I don't think he has anything that special about him. Uh, someone could correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think of Ash as a unit that can do something that no one else can. Sure, he has his personal skill, which is just like personal skill lock touch. You can open any chest or door ever, which has its uses, but door keys and chest keys are viable in this game. And money isn't like super tight usually. So if you need one, you're going to be able to buy one. So that those are just kind of my feelings. We'll say Ash is just good. Next is Caspar. Uh, Caspar honestly is pretty good. Once it, like 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 anyone if trained is good. Um, I don't like his recruitment requirements. I know a lot of people like to train Violet and Gauntlets anyways, but I'm not. I, I just usually don't personally for some reason. So that's really just personal bias. Um, his his stats are a little less impressive than others. Um, I don't really have any like other anything other than that to say, uh, but Caspar goes there for me. All right, this one's gonna make a lot of people mad. Cyril. <laughs> people hate when you hate on Cyril because they are like, "Oh, Cyril's so good. I love him. He's my favorite unit." And you're right, he's good, like everyone else in this game. Uh, Cyril does get vengeance, which I probably should give him more points for. Um, and he also gets point blank volley. The more I think about, it, the more I should have just moved him up higher. Thinking about it now. Um, so I kind of regret this at this point, but I'm not going to change it. You guys can tell me to change it. <laughs> uh, but I think he's good. Uh, bad bases, uh, you want to recruit him as soon as possible to get him into a class that's actually going to give him uh, decent, uh, you know, decent abilities because he starts off just as a commoner and he stays in, a, in commoner until you recruit him, which is pretty rough for his stats, honestly. All right, next, Eloise. I think Aloise is the le least impressive of the Knights of Cirrus and teacher units. Uh, not because, I don't know, he just doesn't bring anything to the table, to, in my opinion, that is super unique and is game changing. And again, that could be wrong. You prove me wrong in the comments, please. Uh, but I, I'm just never really impressed with Aloise. I do think he is better than what we've listed so far, uh, just because he doesn't require much training to be usable on the battlefield like he's going to be decent right when you recruit him uh, but i don't think he'd quite uh, i think he's outshined by the other uh knights of Cirrus and other teachers and pretty much every other unit in the game <laughs> all right next to awesome tier first we're gonna have hanneman hand the man with the mustache i love the i love the mustache though and the monocle he's looking classy uh hanneman is also pretty underwhelming i honestly Probably just put them like just right. I'd honestly put them just about the right same with Aloise. I probably should put them in the same tier. I think Hanneman uh, has some utility with Rally Magic and other things like that, and also Long Range Magic is nice. 
And he can he can make a decent filler uh, magic unit if you need one. That's basically kind of his niche. Filler magic unit if you need one. Alright, next I'm going to say Raphael. Um, his selling points are high strength and high HP. But other than that, he's pretty unimpressive. So if you build him right, if you put him through... Uh, you know, the Gauntlet classes and get him into War Master, get Quick Repost, and then put him back into uh, that, like, Quick Repost will allow him to enemy phase rel relatively safely, and then you put him into the uh, Grappler for F Fierce Iron Fist for player phase dominance. Uh, he can be good, but that's really late in the game, and I don't think he's super useful up until you get him rolling that way, personally. So I want to leave him there. Uh, great for a guard adjutant, though. All right, next is Ferd Ferdinand von Eyre. Ferdinand, I almost called him Ferdinand because I'm playing Echoes right now. Um, Ferdinand is... He's a great unit, don't get me wrong. He's honestly, if recruitment weren't a problem, he would be one of the best units on this tier list. Uh, great stats, swift strikes, uh, just really good stuff. But it does really suck. <laughs> Uh, that recruiting him is so difficult. He requires heavy armor, which you probably aren't going to train Byleth in heavy armor anytime soon. And also, I could be mistaken on this, correct me if I'm wrong, but you cannot get a B support with Ferdinand until after the time skip. So again, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but that's what I remember. So uh, you can't like auto recruit him. You do need to get the requisite stuff. You need to get him, uh, you need to get Byleth some armor rig to get Ferdinand, which I think is just really disappointing. I think he'd be better otherwise. All right, next, Manuela. Uh, I think she's she's similar to Hanuman, except for she gets warp, which moves her up a few spaces for me. There are much better warpers uh, who will have higher magic stats, but I think Manuela gets the job done if you need her to. I also really like her rally charm. Uh, she does have like a couple things that make her better than the that I think make her better than the units we've talked about so far. Uh, that. Just give her a little bit of utility. Again, Rally Charm, especially in the early game, if you can get it pretty quick, is really nice. Because it's plus eight charm, which is essentially a... Uh, what is that? It's essentially like a 40-point swing in your hit rate for uh, for a Gambit. So that's nothing to sneeze at. All right. Dope to... <laughs> Throw Ingrid in here. I used to be really high on Ingrid. I used to think she was amazing. And she's not bad, for, per se. But she also isn't the best. I don't know. I, I I find her strength to be lacking and her bulk to be lacking. She'll have incredible speed, um, and you know she, you know she basically she comes with like the the stats. I mean the the rankings just to kind of go into Pegasus right from the get go, which is great. But I think overall she just isn't going to be that great on Maddening, and yeah, that's kind of my thought. Okay, next, a unit who's really similar, Petra. Petra and Ingrid are basically the same <laughs> in, a, in, a lot, in a lot of ways. Um, I will say the great thing about, I don't know, I'm, I'm tempted to switch these just because Ingrid gives you Luin, um, but I'm not going to, I don't think that's worth moving. So we'll say, we'll say Petra is like, they're, about, they're basically the same unit to me uh, when you're not playing on their specific route. Yeah, both are kind of disappointing units, but... It, it on again on maddening uh where doubling is near impossible for i feel like doubling almost is pretty much is impossible on some units and some enemy units and then is very hard to achieve on every unit uh and these two will have an opportunity to double some of the slower units but those slower units tend to have pretty decent defense therefore they won't be dealing a ton of damage it's a whole cluster uh, maddening just really turns the game on its head and makes these units that were great and hard and normal not as good on maddening Right, next, Annette. I like Annette a lot. I like the rally utility. Rally strength and rally speed, once you get her to C plus uh, authority, is great. Uh, having both of those on the same unit, I always love that. It isn't... Uh, I, I think in the past I've kind of overstated how good rally is, especially, especially like a rally bot unit. And I still like her for it, but I don't think it's as good as I've made it sound in the past. Uh, other than that, she'll deal decent magic chip and even maybe kill things in the late game with high magic and then also uh she has healing utility although she doesn't get physic or fortify she does have recover though recover is good uh recover is slept on i think recover is better than uh, a lot of people give it credit for it's basically it's almost 
a full hill or is a full heal. Uh, if I, I, I need to remember the numbers. I don't, I don't know. It's honestly been a while since I played <laughs> three houses, guys. All right. Uh, next we have Dorothea. Who I think I'm going to put slightly above Annette. Just for the fact that she has physic. She also gets long range magic, which can be useful for linked attacks. Uh, but I think she also ha uh, she also has really good rally potential with rally charm as well. I mean, I've already talked about how I love rally charm, and I think that's slept on because you know plus forty hit to a gambit is nothing to sneeze at. So I'm gonna say she is pretty good. She's like Manuela except better without warp, if that makes sense. Okay, Linhart. Linhart, I'm gonna put just above Dorothea for mainly for warp. And Physic Utility. I, I love him when a unit has both. I mean, his stats aren't great, and you will have to like work out recruiting him a little bit, uh, like every other unit we've talked about so far. Uh, except for Raphael, because he's a golden there. But Linhart, I think, is a great filler healer for you. I don't think he'd be my first pick uh, to have on my team for a healer slash utility unit, especially when on Golden Deer you already have units like Marianne and and like Scythia, who fill kind of his roles. But uh, it's never, it never hurts to have more healing, I guess. So he's pretty good. All right, now into great tier. Mercedes. I have a hard time putting her any higher, any lower than like great tier. Uh, I understand she's not the best unit in the world. And recruiting her is actually kind of difficult with the bow rank. But it, you just get her to the B support. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if you are using bows on Byleth a little bit. Just because bows are really nice in Maddening. It's really nice to have a distance option. So, but she also is like the ultimate healer with both Physic and Fortify, which is huge. She's, so you're not going to like really, really you're going to have to really wear her magic out to run out of uses of long range healing in one map. Uh, I think she's great for that. And also she can deal some pretty big chip damage if you need her to. All right, Flame. Flame's next. Uh, honestly, tempted to put Flame in dope tier. I don't know. Flame, I just kind of threw here. Not thinking too hard about it because I like rescue, I like fortify, um, and she's fine. I don't know. I might move her honestly if I were you guys, and I might move her thinking about it right now. I'll change. I might change my mind later. I might make some final adjustments at the end. All right, Seteth. Now Seteth, um, he does get swift strikes, and I think I would put him higher if he like either started with swift strikes or was he was really close to swift strikes i think he is a few ranks off from getting it which is kind of frustrating to me he does start as a wyvern rider which is awesome but he actually doesn't have the greatest axe rank if i remember correctly so like getting him to wyvern lord actually takes a little bit of time too i don't know Seth can be good but i feel like he definitely falls off in the end game and won't be helping as much as other units who train along the way Especially other units who have Swift Strikes being Sylvain and Ferdinand. I think those two will ultimately be better in the end game than Sedith. Uh, but Sedith doesn't need to be trained to be decent. So, he's kind of, again, he's another one of those, like, comes ready to go, decent filler units. Which is, like, by definition, what the next character is, Shamir. I think Shamir, again, great filler unit. She's on, she's in the right class for her, personally. Because she can learn Hunter's Volley relatively quickly. And that's going to make her really uh, viable for dealing damage in the mid game. Uh, I find that Shamir kind of falls off in the late game and won't be dealing as much damage. That could just be my personal experience, uh, some bias. Uh, but I don't feel like she is going to be as useful after, you know, maybe six or seven chapters into the time skip. She really falls off. But up until then, she is a great, a great for Chip and even just one rounding enemies with Hunter's Volley. All right, these next next two, I honestly wasn't super sure where to put them, but in Incredible, we're going to put Balthus. Uh, for, to me, you know, free recruitment and really good combat. Um, that's basically what it brings to the table. So uh, he doesn't do a whole lot other than that. He does have his, he does get the the gauntlets, the Vashra Mushti, or how you say it, which are good. And but other than that, I don't know. He's not super impressive to me. Same kind of goes with Yuri. I really like uh, Wind Sweep and Free Recruitment. He, he is a good unit, don't get me wrong. He's a great unit. Uh, but I don't think he has things that make him like extra special, if that makes sense. 
all the units above these two at this point have something about them that I really enjoy. Um, uh, except for the next one. The next one's kind of similar to them. <laughs> Which is Felix. Felix, I think it's like, okay. Felix is similar to Yuri and Balthus. It's just good for combat, but that's about it. He doesn't have a whole lot of other utility. Uh, his personal skill is good for the first like couple chapters until you get him to a point where he can use a battalion that's worth it to not use his personal skill uh so that's a thing but yeah all right now we're moving into units that i think are actually really good ignatz is dope uh plus 20 hit is a his personal skill is just plus 20 hit which on maddening is a godsend uh to just hit, he'll just be able to hit things. <laughs> Any amount of reliability and maddening, I will take. And it also affects his gambit hit rate. And then you can get him another plus 20 if you have a Master Archer. And he's basically just never going to miss. And then you, com you combine that with him just sitting at Sniper with Hunter's Volley. And he will be jacking enemies up for the remainder of the game. He won't miss, most likely. Like The chances of him missing will be super low. And he's going to hit for a lot of damage. So Ignatz is incredible. He also has some good rallies. I'll say that too. He also has some good rallies if you get those. All right, Marianne. Uh, another Golden Deer character like Ignatz. Uh, I love Physic. And she also will deal good heavy damage. She can hit super hard. That's why uh, by the end game. Uh, especially with like, she even gets like Thoron quick. Which I like Thorn a lot for the three range. Uh, but other than that, she's just good. She's a good unit. Alright. Bernadetta. So, I'm sure many of you have seen Mecha's uh, waifu video on where we analyze interesting fire emblem units. What else did you think it meant? Um, <laughs> uh, where he talked about Bernadetta in depth and why she is actually a lot better than people say she is. And... Yeah, I agree. Vengeance can deal a lot of damage. I think there's a lot of people that would watch that and then move her to like near near the top of tier list. But I don't think one enemy phase, I mean one player phase just nuke really puts her into like amazing or near perfect tier. Uh, she will be able just to delete an enemy if you set it up, but then you need to heal her or pull her back. So, I, I don't know. I, I'm not the biggest fan of Vengeance tactics, personally. But she does make great use of it, uh, if you're, you're careful. And especially with her personal skill that gets her another plus 5 damage when she's damaged. Which is crazy. Um, and she also gets Enclosure. And people love Enclosure. For locking down monsters and stuff for a turn. So, good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff all around. Bernadetta's great. Alright. Next is Lorenz. I used to not be very hot on Lorenz, but I think he's actually a lot better than I thought. Uh, he does get Recover, which is great for a unit who can like front line, which he can. Uh, I think his best path is to go through Mage, give him to get like magic. I should, shouldn't say Mage, but like magic classes uh, to really work on his magic, and then eventually you can get him into um, like Dark Knight to work to work with uh, his magic stat and also use Frozen Lance effectively. So I think Lorenz is a lot better than I've given credit for in the past. He is he honestly is an incredible unit. Okay. Now into amazing tier. Get near the top. I'm gonna throw Hilda here. I think Hilda has great combat for the entire game. Uh, that is the highlight for Hilda. She also, you know, being female, she can get Pegasus Knight. In, in the, honestly, she can be a Pegasus Knight by, by chapter five or four, uh, relatively quickly if you're if you're really focused on and work on. And that's really great. I love flying utility. So I, I think Hilda is a great unit. All right, next we have Sylvain. If you pick female Byleth, which there's basically no reason not to if you're talking about an efficiency or playing well tier list uh, for Maddening, there's no reason not to pick female Byleth to get Sylvain early. Unless you really want to do Warmaster, but like, what the heck. <laughs> uh, Sylvain, great, great unit. Swift Strikes. Great stats. Uh, comes uh, ready to go with Tempest Lance and Smash for two different options. One's extremely accurate. One hits really hard. 
uh, being you know Smash has like Smash is like plus twenty hit, Tempest Lance is like plus eight attack, ridiculous. So he can really just jack people up uh, regardless of what weapon you need him to use. Really great. All right, Leone. I think Leone is one of the best native Golden Deer units. I think she falls off if she moves to another house, but in Golden Deer, you're able to train her exactly how you want to from the beginning, and that really benefits her. Leone learns point playing volley at, I think it's, an a or, it's either A or A plus bows, which is great. But up until then, she is going to be just a solid combat unit for you. She comes with Tempest Lance. Um, she can get cur you know, and then I, I, I personally would give her a bow and get her to get curve shot really quickly. Um, and then also move her into flying. I personally love having a flyer who uses bows. Bows are really good in this game, and then being able just to move around. High, high mobility is great. There's, flying is, there's almost no downside to flying in three houses, just because you can dismount and get rid of your weaknesses, like, instantly. <laughs> like, it's so dumb. Flying is broken in this game. All right, next, Constance. I originally had Constance. I originally had Constance in near perfect tier next to Happy, uh, but I do think Happy is a little better. I know people tend to disagree with me on this, uh, but I think Happy is the better unit. Regardless, I think Constance with Rescue Bolting, just I don't know, just such a cool, cool magical list to put to put to work, and an incredibly high magic stat. Those are kind of her selling points, and she does a lot with them. Now, if she had Warp instead of Rescue, I would like her a little more and probably would put her in near perfect tier, but for now, we're going to leave her in Amazing. Okay, next we have Catherine. Uh, Mecha, you've probably seen this video as well. Mecha also did a waifu. We, we analyze interesting fire units. I feel like I have to say that every time just so I don't mislead people uh, on Catherine, uh, where he went very in-depth on, you know, you can recruit her, by chapter five relatively easily which i agree with yes you can and that she's just a solid combat unit from the beginning and that's true you don't have to do you do like next to no work with her and she's going to be amazing and then not to mention she's great for a long time i do think she falls off in part two which doesn't which keeps her from being near perfect but i think if you recruit her early she's going to be a great unit for all of part one that she's in, and then the early game of part two, she'll still be useful. I don't think she really falls off until end of part, until like mid to end of part two. And to me, that means she covers the hardest part of the game for you, which is great. Because in, in in three houses, maddening on pretty much every fire emblem, the difficulty curve is such that the early game is the hardest because your units suck. And then your units start to snowball and get better and better and better, and you rely less on like one really great unit, like Catherine would be. All right, we're on to our last tier. We have the near perfect tier. All right, first we're gonna have Happy. I really like Happy for warp and for physic. If she had a slightly higher magic stat, I would put her even higher. Uh, but her magic will not be. Most likely, obviously it's all chance and statistics, whatever, math. Uh, Happy just isn't going to have the stat, the magic stat that Lysithia has. But Warp is still good. And also, she has a, a fun dark magic spell list uh, that'll have... She gets a three-range spell, which is great. And then, of course, if you throw her into her canon, quote-unquote canon class, and give her, uh, you know, Valkyrie, giving her the plus one range, and then you give her something like Thursus or something, which is another plus two... Then she has incredible range, which is really fun to play around with. But all that said, she's really great. Near perfect. I think Happy's amazing. All right, Lysithia is next. I think Lysithia and Happy are pretty similar, but I do like Lysithia more. Uh, Lysithia has a really high magic stat, and she will have the ability to one-shot enemies on Madman if you train her. Now, there's going to be a lot of people who come in and say, but well, Isithia is really squishy. She dies super early. She, you have to baby her, blah, 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 blah. You don't really have to baby her, number one. Number two, why are you putting your squishy mage in the front line anyway? That's just the kind of unit she is, guys. It's okay to have units that aren't defensively tanky, but are still super useful. And this game gives you so many tools to make a unit like Lysithia super useful. The really high magic... Um, and just like one shot potential of her dark magic, especially when like dark dark spikes on effective web effectiveness and whatever else, 
But also just her other spells are really strong. She'll just like obliterate enemies. She is uh, give her the Caduceus staff or the Thursus staff, and or even just put her into Valkyrie, the extra range that keeps her safe, allows her just to dominate enemies. And real talk, if you have other mages, just, just trade around those stats when you can. You know, like you can you you can set up using Thursus like multiple times in the same turn, which is amazing. And this is the the route where Lysithia is 100% free because Golden Dew. So now, I know a lot of people, again, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this. I think Lysithia is dope. I think she's amazing. She's probably my favorite unit to use in the game. Uh, really fun unit. Alright. Next we have the Byleths. Um, I think they are pretty similar. But I'm going to put female Byleths slightly higher just for earlier flying and free lane. Great stats. Uh, great learned abilities. I love Wind Sweep. I love Wind Sweep. Uh, a free awesome class in the enlightened one that they just get to certify into for free and get some awesome stat buffs great great units and the best unit of golden deer who else but mr claude von reagan himself he is amazing amazing personal class uh, he gets passed in the second gen he gets extra experience uh his personal skill gives him extra experience 20 percent more experience and also, by the way, Byleth does that too, and also gives it to other people, which is part of why Byleth is so good. Uh, but Claude, sorry, gets Felnot as well, and is the only one that can use its uh, its combat art, which makes him dodge the next attack, so that can be a fun enemy phase uh, dodge tanking tool. Uh, flying is really good, and he gets it for free. You don't even have to train him in it if you don't want to, but you might as well for alert stance or something. And bows are stupid good. Like... Claude's amazing. He even gets, like, enclosure and stuff. He, like, Claude's so good, guys. So good. Uh, there's no reason not to use the guy. <laughs> Obviously, he's forced in pretty much every chapter anyways. So. And by pretty much, I mean he's forced in every chapter. Anyways, use, yeah, use Claude. Great. Great unit training. But this is just my thoughts for Golden Deer tier list. I could be wrong, but the thing is that this tier lists are super fluid. They're always changing. That's the point of this one. Uh, this being the community tier list for Golden Deer. Now, after my now that my opinion's up, it's your guys' turn to tell me what you want changed, why you want it changed, and where exactly for that change, where exactly do you put the unit, and who do you switch them with, stuff like that, so we can uh, edit it next Tuesday. So again, comment your thoughts. It's really important for this one. And thank you for watching. If you want more awesome content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And please leave the video a like. It helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.